This time on Street Rag Garage, we're back at the Indianapolis Police Impound Lot. This time we're going to look at classics and sports cars. So I was going through the list of cars and I noticed there's a, a small number of classic vehicles going through this week's auction. And there are some uh, modern sports cars, you might call them. And uh, it's tax season, so I'm not sure that we're gonna get a really good deal or anything out, but uh, let's go ahead and look at some of these vehicles, see what the prices are right here at the beginning of tax time. Well, the first one we're gonna be looking at today is this 1994, it's a, I think it's built as a Chevy Caprice, but this looks a lot like an Impala SS. It has the SS emblems on the seats. It has a center console on it. Um, it does say Caprice Classic on the dash there though. So there should be some emblems but they're gone, they should be right there. And it should have a spoiler on the back, which it used to have a spoiler on the back. And it's supposed to say, pretty sure it's supposed to say SS on the back here somewhere. It doesn't say it. Actually, there was some script, I believe right in this area that said SS, but I think that was vinyl. These are missing. So I think it just said SS here. I'm not sure if there was anything right here on this panel, but it's a good chance that this is a, a Capri, not a Caprice, uh, but a Chevy SS. Some of these were converted from a Caprice to a SS. Uh, we don't have any other markings. Just Caprice Classic right there. And the SS right there. The Impala logo right there. Unfortunately, we can't open up the hood to see what's underneath of it either because it won't open. Okay, I was able to bandage, uh, open up the hood, and it does have the 5.7 liter in it. OptiSpark ignition system, right? Oh, something fell off. It's missing, looks like somebody put this radiator in. It's missing the, the cover right here. And it hasn't been ridden, driven for years. But I would say overall, it's not a bad car. I'm pretty sure it's an Impala SS. The only problem is it hasn't been driven in so long. There's probably some problems. If that OptiSpark goes bad, you're gonna be pretty sad trying to get that to run again. So let's move on to the next car. Next up, we have a 1987 O's Cutlass and it is billing itself as a 442. Is this a real 442? Let's look in it. Well, it's got the center console. And uh, I don't know much about these. It has a 442 on the, the uh, door panel, which is helpful. See if there's any on the trunk. It's got the T-tops, that's nice. And 442 on a trunk lid as well. All this paint appears to be original to the car. The only uh, thing that's been replaced is the fenders. And those rims, those rims don't go on there, right? That's Chevy rims. Looks like you come off an S10 or something like that. Quarter panel on this side is fairly solid. So I popped open the trunk lid. Pretty solid on that side. It's got the power windows, the power locks. It's got homeless camp in the back. Let's see what's underneath the hood of this thing. So I'm gonna replace this fender as well. This hood is not bolted down. Oh, looks like it's got a, probably a 350 in it, I guess. Oh, 350. So, uh, huh. Is this worth putting together, or is this just a parts car? I mean, real 442, ought to be worth a few bucks. Maybe six grand all cleaned up. Grills and the rims and everything on it. So, I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye on this one. So, what do you think? Does this qualify as a classic vehicle? It is a 1997 Ford Crown Victoria. This is the body style before all the Cletus McFarlane type of uh, type of Crown Vicks. This little bit more aerodynamic ones, but it took it took a heck of a hit. Looks like it hit a brick wall or something, but still looks like it has a good 4.6 liter in it. 
It might have been an old police car at one time, but I think we'll take a pass on that one. All right, now, does this count as a classic? This is a 1990, so how old is that? 34 years? 34 years should count as a classic vehicle, I would say. So it's a 1990, there's no keys, and the motor's disassembled. Let's look at that and see how bad that is. Oh yeah, so um, hmm. somebody must have had a bad head gasket and it's always easy to take things apart. Not so easy to put them back together. So uh, if it wasn't so greasy, I'd reach down there and see if it still spins over. I mean, there's some rust in the cylinders as you can see, but you can probably run a hone through that, lube it up a little bit. And I'm sure this is probably a good motor. They wouldn't have taken that head off, uh, you know, and just disassembled one side if it was bad. So I imagine it doesn't say because it's gone. It's probably a 350. It could be a 305, but most likely a 350. Is this a Silverado? It's an extended cab. Yeah, it's a Silverado. So extended cab truck. Ah, you know, the, oh, there's the keys. They usually don't leave the keys. Well probably because there's no ignition to stick them in so you have keys and a dog that lived in here it's not so bad the windows broken in the back and it's got all the junk in the back but this is solid this is a midwest truck and they are not this solid this is really good this could not have come from indiana this must be a southern truck Oh, man, I don't need another project, but wow. Look how solid this is. Look at, let's look at the cab corners. Holy cow. Wow, that is solid. That is super solid. Oh, there's a little bit right there. But man, that is actually excellent shape. The frame looks good and everything. Hmm. Oh, man, I don't need another project. But I got those LS engines. Is it okay to LS swap a truck this new 90? I don't know. I like this one. We're gonna look at this one. We'll throw a number on it. All right, let's get to the uh, sports car section. Ah, uh, this is nice. It's a 16 Dodge Charger, 137,000 miles, has keys, engine runs, and went into gear. Let's see what she's got underneath the hood. <laughs> oh, sad, 3.6 liter. Womp, womp, womp. Oh well. And she's, she's still a sports car? I oh, don't know. Oh, that's messed up. Broke, broke the uh, spindle clean off of there. Huh. Doesn't look too bad as long as that frame wasn't bent in there. Looks like it might have went into a ditch. Um, hmm. And the bumper cover is missing. Bumper cover, cover, blah, bumper cover is missing. And she's dented in the quarter panel. Scraped up on the side. Man, this ran off the road. How much do you like on the inside? How oh, it's dark in here. Can you see anything? I don't know if you can see. Um, it's nice on the inside. The seats are good. The console's good. Everything's good. The airbags didn't go off. Huh, look at that, see? Drove off the road, scuffed up the sides. Man, if this was a VA car, I would definitely be interested, but uh, I would be afraid there's something wrong with the cradle on this car, so that's gonna be a pass for me, but we'll see how much it goes for. Well, let's move on down with our Dodge Chargers. This is a 14. 14 is the last year of this style grill. Then they went to the sort of wraparound headlights. So it kind of drops off here. It's 160,000 miles, 2014, went into gear. Let's see what's underneath the hood of this one. Oh, another 3.6 liter sadness. This one was white. Mm, probably a police car. So there's no spotlight on it though. Let's see what it looks like on the interior. Yeah, it's still white. It's all white, but it does not have a, a police uh, 
pull down uh, column shift. So probably, unless somebody converted it, it's probably just a white uh, civilian model. Is that what it's called? Huh. I don't know about this one. Uh, they're going to bid a lot of money on this. I bet you it's tax season. It's going to go, I'm going to guess, I bet this will go for about $4,500 to $5,000. If it goes $3,000, I'd be interested in it, even though it's just a V6 car. That's what I'm talking about. Jaguar, that is nice. Is this still a sports car? I would consider this a sports car, four-door sports car. I mean, if we couldn't call the Impala SS a sports car, we can call this Jaguar a sports car. 70,000 miles, 2016. Man, this is nice, but it doesn't have any keys. Why would you not make keys for this? Oh, man, this is nice. Oh, look at that. Holy cow, dude. Look at this interior. This is decked out. Wow. This is nice. Super, super nice. This is going to go for all the money. Wow, this is going through at tax time, and it is a beaut. If it had keys with it, it would go for so much more money. But there's no reason why this shouldn't just run and drive if you make a key for it. But that's a gamble. A gamble I'm not willing to take. Boy, that's a beaut. And right next to the Jaguar, we have this uh, Camaro that's seen better days. It was red. Now it's green. And dented. And fixed. And dented. 138,000 miles, 2010, has keys, has power, will not crank. Hmm, that's sad. Looks like it's been sitting underneath of a tree somewhere for a long time. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, what's it like on the inside? Well, the center console has been ripped apart. The dash has been messed up. It's missing a door panel. Oh man, this is a mess, but will it go cheap? What engine does this have? Hmm. On LS engine? No, another V6 in a sports car. Why? Why, why, why? Not been running for a long, long time. Oh, that's a mess. Yeah, well. I would call that $1,000, $1,500, not really a sports car, sports car. I think I'd rather have the Acura. <laughs> Maybe the Ford, what's that, a Focus? Nah, not that. You guys want to see something really messed up? Look at this, the 2001, what's this, a Yukon? No, this, I think this is a Suburban, but uh, not only is the uh, front suspension ripped off, but it hit so hard, it ripped the uh, half of the differential out. That's that's one half, and that's <laughs> that's where it uh, where the tube's supposed to go. It ripped it, the tube of the differential clean out of uh, the rest of the rear end. You can see where it slides in there, and I uh, suspect that's supposed to be welded in there, but. That had to be one heck of a hit. That's a GMC Yukon, but it still runs. On this side, it looks really good. So that's a good parts truck. You need parts. I mean, I need parts for my uh, Suburban, but I'm not buying that because I do not want to try to drag this up on my trailer and then get it back off again and then take it to my lot and try to move it around. No. Okay. The one thing you want to understand about the police impound lot is, yeah, the police are impounding these vehicles, but mostly because of accidents like this and this and even the charger. So these vehicles are in accidents. They get brought to the impound lot and the insurance companies do not want these cars. So it's cheaper for them just to leave them here and let them get sold off because they can't make any money off of these cars anymore and they probably would lose money. It's cheaper just to leave the car here. So the, most of these vehicles aren't really being taken from people. 
they're being left here by the insurance companies. So there's a few abandoned vehicles and there are a few here that were impounded because people didn't have driver's license or what have you, but you, you, this is abandoned vehicle, obviously abandoned vehicle. This one, obviously in an accident. This one is a piece of junk and no one cares about. So yeah, who wants a 2007 HHR with a knocking engine? So this was abandoned as well. So no loss here, nobody's losing. Nobody's losing their vehicles. Well, some people are losing their vehicles. Not very many people are losing them. Accident, 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 all the way through. All these accident vehicles. Nobody wants these. Good parked cars for me and you though. This is not a sports car, but I like Suburbans. This is 2005. It says 10,530 miles. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, not, uh, not with this kind of rust on it. Somebody might have been fixing this up, but uh, definitely not 10,000 miles. These seats are actually nice for an 05. Yeah, this has been reupholstered. See, this is way nicer than this right here. And uh, our brake doesn't have a whole lot of wear on it, but more than 10,000 miles worth of wear on the brakes. This, yeah, see that seat? It's got cuts and stuff in it and somebody big was sliding in and out of that one but it's a nice truck is that a dvd player what is that oh no just a, no it is a dvd player so this was fancy back in the day like that but we might have to throw some money on that one too it's got a, a double din stereo in it hmm. uh, if it wasn't for that rust right there that would be really good Suburban. This has been repainted. Is this open? Oh, that opens. Oh, some nice junk is in the back. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> I I don't like these style rims, but um, hmm, it was five hundred, seven hundred dollars worth of rims back there. Maybe we should keep that covered up. Don't tell anybody. Nice. Oh well. Probably won't get this one, but I'll throw a few dollars on this one too. I like this, but why was it impounded? Let's find out. It's got stickers on it. Oh, there's some rust there too. Uh, city of Indianapolis abandoned vehicle notification. So this was sitting somewhere on the street and it, uh, it got impounded. Okay, well, technically this was taken by the police, <laughs> but somebody didn't come back and get it. You can always tell that because it has white markings on the tires there. So it was marked. They didn't move it. They got a sticker, they were warned, they didn't come back and get their stuff, so it was like they came back and got their license plate though. Yeah, well, they didn't want it uh, apparently, so we're gonna bid on it. Let's see what's under the hood real quick. Most likely a 5.3. Uh, yep, 5.3 liter. It doesn't have the uh, hood shocks on it for some reason. And it used to be maroon, so repaint. Not bad. Okay, I'm getting so far off of sports cars and classics, but no, this is a 90, so it is a classic, so I'm good. Another 1990, uh, this is a four-wheel drive. Let's see what it says about it. Ooh, 289,000 miles. That's a lot for a 1990. Went into gear, all gears go forward. Ignition broke, all gears go forward. So, reverse goes forward, I'm gonna take it. So we probably have a bad transmission. What's that over there? Why has it got a fancy gauge on it? Is that a temp gauge? No, is that, it's not a boost gauge, is it? I don't know what that is. We better look under the hood to make sure there's nothing good hiding underneath there. Um, nope. <laughs> Definitely not nothing good hiding underneath here. 350 or 305, can't tell. Mm, well. I think that's a pass but probably won't go for a lot of money okay i just i can't stop looking at the yukons denali's 2003 200,000 miles went into gear has keys uh, see this is what the interior usually looks like on these things the leather seats are garbage but this one is uh 
this one, this one is garbage too. I have these pieces in that other Suburban, huh? And I have, I have better seats in this too. Hmm, interesting. Will this make a good flipper? Mm, got decent rims. Those are newer model rims. I would like to have those rims on my truck. Huh. It's a Tahoe. It's got a giant hole in the back. Is that aluminum? Huh. Why didn't they make the whole body out of aluminum? Oh, solid. A lot of solid. What's under here? Huh. It's not bad. Tahoe. 200,000 miles. We said it ran, right? That's a gray. 5.3 liter. Looks good. Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah. 2003 went into gear 200,000 miles. 200,000 miles is not nothing for one of these trucks. I'm going to have to throw some money on that one right there. It's abandoned. Wonder why it was abandoned. Now. I think this is borderline classic. How old is classic? 20 years? 25 years? Something like that? I don't know, but this is a good, cheap truck. V6, 1996, 139,000 miles, went into gear. I would say this is a pretty good truck. Oh, there's not a lot of rest on it. That's nice. Yeah, it's not all rusted out. Good cap corners. Well, mostly good. I think there's some Bondo in there. Actually, I think there's a lot of Bondo in there. I might have to take that back. So, uh, I don't know. If this goes for about six, 700 bucks, that's be a good daily driver. Oh, there's somebody looking at the uh, Suburban and he's in the back, he saw the rims. Well, the price is gonna go up. Now there are a lot newer cars here. If you're interested in that stuff, you can see my other video that I do a walk around and show some of the, the better stuff, but there are a lot, lot nicer cars here than the classics. We're just looking at some of the classics and some of the trucks this time. So uh, I think it's time to go inside now and see what these cars are bringing. All right, we are back inside and we are about to start the auction. It's gonna start in about 30 seconds here. So before we get started, Check out the new uh, merchandise that will be coming soon to you. Uh, if you want to buy one of these shirts, this is the beta model. So this is the first uh, edition, rendition of this shirt. And they will be available. I don't have a website yet, but they will be available. You want one? Hit me up on Instagram at Street Rat on Instagram. So this auction is starting in five seconds here. So we will get this party started. Oh, the first thing to go up is a rusty old car. So we won't have to worry about bidding on anything for just a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll skip right through. I think the, was it the Cutlass that was the first up? We'll see if the Cutlass was the first up. I'll scroll through here and we'll come back as soon as that pops up or the Impala SS. One of the, one of the two. So let's get to it. Well, it looks like the first car that's gonna pop up is the uh, Dodge Charger. I guess I did not get these quite in order, but um, it's gonna pop up first according to the sale list here. And that was a 2016 Dodge Charger, if I didn't say it before, and it's uh, it's getting ready to pop up right now. It already has a bid of 18, it had 18, 19, 2000. That is, it's going up there. <laughs> I would not be so worried if it wasn't for the fact that, yeah, the wheel is completely ripped off. And like I said, in the, uh, in the field there, we don't know if it has any frame damage. So that is, that's the scary thing right there. And it just had the 3.6 liter V6 in it. I mean, the only thing it has going for it is that, you know, it kind of looks cool with the little stripes on it and the little monster scratching, but, uh, you don't know how much damage this vehicle has. I mean, it just has sort of a plain Jane set of rims. Uh, still has the catalytic converters on it. So, and it has a pretty decent interior in it. It's not leather or anything, but um, hmm, they are bidding on it like crazy. $2,800 is up to, $2,850 it's up to. Jeez, I don't know about that. I mean, 
it's damaged on just about every panel. It's missing the bumper cover. It's the passenger fender is messed up. Of course, the suspension is all messed up. Now it's at three thousand fifty dollars, and uh, I think the quarter panel have a little damage on it right there. Um, of course, the rim is messed up underneath here. All the brake hardware is going to be probably messed up. We don't know about the undercarriage. That is the big thing. Thirty-one hundred dollars on it so far. These people, these people are really wanting this car. Tax season, tax season time is upon us. I mean, I would rather have this car with a nice body and maybe a bad transmission or a blown engine, and just swap those out. But uh, you know, to each their own. Let's see, thirty-two. Nope, somebody hit it again. Okay, we're gonna play this out a little bit and see what it goes for. Looks like it's at 32.50. Is this the last uh, five seconds on it? Let's see if somebody hits it again or if it goes through another cycle. 32.50 pending and sold for 32.50. Well, I don't know. Was that a good deal or was that a bad deal? You decide. Ooh, <laughs> look at that avalanche. There's nothing there. Did any nobody even bid on that? That is a stripped down avalanche. It has a front suspension on it. No doghouse, no wheels. Is there anything on the inside? Yeah, there's some stuff on the inside. Speedo's gone. It didn't, did not sell. So, okay. Oh, real quick. We're supposed to be doing sports cars again, but that, that's that one that didn't have any suspension underneath of it that we saw. That took a big hit, but it has a good uh, 5.3 liter in it. How many miles did it have? 200,000, it's not bad. It has 450 bucks on it. It'll probably sell for that. I don't think anybody's gonna hit it again for for more than that. Yeah, sell pending, $450. So, whoop, it didn't go, oh, somebody hit it again, I lied. So $500, now remember, 525, somebody hit it again. Remember, look at this small number right here. This is what you're really paying. The $525 bid, but, you're paying auction fees $724.50. Is it still worth $700? It's worth $525 for sure, but is it worth $724? That's what you want, but somebody just bought it. $525, but they paid $700, over $700 for it. So, all right, let's get back to the classics. So the Cletus McFarlane Wrecked Crown Victoria is coming up next. Uh, consider it a classic, I guess. But, I mean, it was pretty sad shape. Um, yeah, it was wrecked real bad. $350 bid on it right now. How many people bid on that? Seven people actually bid on that car. No keys, 1997. It only had 113,000 miles on it, though. That's sad that that got crashed so bad. You think you could fix that? I don't know. 350 bucks. So, it's sold. It's out of there. Not too bad, I guess. I don't know. I wouldn't buy it. Okay, that 1990 Chevy truck, the one with weird gauge on it, is coming up next. It's at 300, well, it was 375, now it's 400, so 580 dollars. What was the deal with that? It went in the gear. It says, oh yeah, went in the gear. All gears go forward, and ignition is broke. So, mm, 600 bucks. I don't think we're gonna bid on that one. I wouldn't mind, but. What was the miles on it again? 289, eh, 289,000 miles. That's kind of high for this, this gin of truck. And it has the markings on it, the abandoned. So it went for 475. So what's that, like six something? Oh, the Suburban is coming up next. Uh, should we hit one on that? Let's uh, hit one on that. We're winning. Okay, we got 725 on that one. And... Let's see if we get that one. See, it's $925, and uh, yeah, we were just outbid. So it's at 983 no, hit again. I hit it again. Well, <laughs> we are out of that race. Hit it again. 850 875 900 Wow, okay. Nine, it's going a lot higher than I thought. Was that the one with the rims? Yeah. Was that the one? Yeah, that's the one with the rims. That's the one that was repainted. Has the hidden rims in the back. Remember those people I told you that were looking at it? That's them. That's them. They know the rims are back there. You know, probably seven, eight hundred dollars worth of rims in the back of it. So they're bidding. 
they were looking at the nice paint. They don't see the rebuilt title, of course. Uh, even though it, it, you get the new title for it, it's still going to come back in the system as a rebuilt title. It had a nice interior in it though, $1,700, $2,173 was fees, no, 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 no. It, remember that rust it had on it too at the bottom? And it is also came in as abandoned vehicle, even though it says it, it runs, it, ha it says it has keys, engine runs, but the shifter is off, whatever that means. So we don't know if it has a transmission or not. So they're bidding $1,700 right now. $2,173.50 and it's sold for that. That's just too much money for me. Mm. And on to the next one. I think there's a Tahoe coming up. Okay, a Tahoe's up now. It's a 2003 Tahoe and it just immediately exploded. <laughs> uh, it's a 14, 1500. I didn't even get a chance to hit the button on this one. No, I'm not giving that much for it. It what was the deal on this one? Has keys, started, went into gear, 207,000 miles. Tax check money is blowing up. Wow. It had some, I think it just had some damage. Yeah, it was missing the trim on the inside of it. And it's marked on the tire, so it's abandoned vehicle too. Yeah. That would have been a good one. If uh, it's gonna, is, is it going to go more than the Suburban? It's 2400 two thousand dollars holy cow it's 2500 with fees what is wrong with you people oh my gosh they like tahoes okay well keep that in mind tahoes sell better than suburbans apparently at least that auction 2600 bucks with fees 2679 with fees 2100 dollar bid Whew. wow has uh everything on it underneath how many miles were on it 207 right the seats are in okay shape. Man, that's a lot. I mean, it looks it looks good, but that's that's a resell already. Twenty one hundred. Well, you probably could get three thousand out of it. I would imagine in the shape that it's in. You think you get three thousand out of that? Wow, twenty. I mean, it's twenty seven ninety four, and it it just keeps going. Twenty two hundred. It, uh, I don't think, I think this one was solid. See, it says right there on the back window, abandoned vehicle. And it still has a license plate on it. I think this would run. You know, 20, okay. There's stuck at 22. So that's $2,794. So $2,800 for that. If nobody bids on it again. $2,800, three, two, one. $2,800. Congratulations, you bought an overpriced vehicle. I was thinking we would have one more week before the prices went up, but I guess they're not too bad right now. I would still, I would still call that resale price twenty eight hundred dollars on that particular Tahoe. I mean, it was it was good, but it wasn't great. So, oh, that other truck is coming up, the one that's really solid. Um, man, I I don't want to hit that button. But I really like how solid that is. It's going to go for $275. It's 400. Oh, somebody hit once. Oh, there it goes. Okay, now I don't feel so bad. People are hitting the button on it. It's so solid, though. That is a good body. But that engine, that was the one with the engine that was torn down. $465. I mean, I would almost, I would, I would definitely give that if it wasn't. If I didn't have so many other things going on right now, I just, I don't have time to work on this. Uh, just let it go. Let it go. Just don't. Yes. Go, 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 go. Whew. I really wanted to buy that. <laughs> That's the problem with these auctions. I want to buy. It is more fun to buy than it is to fix and sell. Don't forget that part. I really, really wanted that truck. Too many projects. If we didn't have so many projects, up at Street Rack Garage would definitely have bought that. It was really solid truck. Right now, we're just going to stick with stuff that runs. I bought that Ford Fusion from the auction. It was like three weeks ago. Haven't hardly touched it. It needs a fender, a hood, a bumper cover, a headlight. Don't have enough time to work on it, so I spent $500 on that car 
and it's just sitting there. That $500 is not making me any money. It's just sitting there not doing anything because I just don't have enough time to go work on it. So I might just sell that car, get my money back, and stick to buying stuff that runs. Okay, here comes a Chevy Impala, and it went way up, $2,000, and the bidding just started. So this is pre-bids, $2,000. Yesterday was at $700. All the those people went out and looked at the car and wow they ran it up is anybody even gonna bid? yeah and there's still people gonna bid on it 250 2100 dollars that's 2600 dollars for this old impala we know nothing about it has no keys so don't don't know if it runs i they parked an impala ss why would you park an impala ss and they were working on it remember the uh the radiator hold down was uh, missing, so it looks like they were re replacing the radiator. Why were they replacing the radiator? Did it overheat? Does it have blown head gaskets? Uh, it looks like it's been sitting at least two years. $2,100, $2,600, $2,679.50 in fees, with fees. I'm sure it's an Impala SS, and I'm sure it's going to be worth some money once you fix it up. After you spend, you know, quite a bit of money on it. Wow, that, that just went for more money. So, yipes. I just can't believe it went for that kind of money. How much would you have to spend on that car to make it right, to make it worth something? If you get lucky and it runs and it drives, what is that car worth? That's what we don't know. And that's the scary part. You come out here, you have to do your research on stuff like that. What is that car worth? running, cleaned up. This interior wasn't great. The paint was not good at all. It really needs a repaint. It's missing parts off of it, missing the spoilers, missing those little sill panels. Uh, what else was it missing? I don't know. Uh, but it definitely hadn't run for a while. Hopefully it would have run. I, I can't say, I would say maybe $5,000 without repainting it versus what you paid for it plus what you you still got to do the paperwork on it you still have to you know get it running what's that going to cost you you buy that car because you want it and you want to play with it not to resell at that price and now that i was going off on my tangent i missed the sale of the 442 it's over here it's sold for uh 825 dollars which is like a little over a thousand dollars with the uh, auction fees, uh, was that a good deal? I would have bought this over the the Impala SS, definitely. I think they're, they would be worth about the same amount of money. The 442 is in a little rougher shape, but I think this would be way easier to fix with just being a carbureted, carbureted engine instead of that crazy fuel injection and OptiSpark that's on that Impala SS. So... If I was going to put some money into a car, it would have been this one. I say this is a fair deal. Okay, next up is that ugly green Camaro. Yeah, $1,500 bid on it right now. Should we smack that once? Let's smack it, smack it. $1,600, we're winning. We are winners. We now own ourselves up. No, we don't own it anymore. That went quick. We own this for like four seconds, maybe three seconds. Should we hit it again? Two, three. Let's watch it for a minute. No, 18, 2, 3. I mean, I'd give like 25 on it, maybe. Is that 23? I like this, but oops, it's 24. I mean, this is our last chance to hit it at two grand. Let's watch it. Let's just watch it. Is it going to go? Maybe we can do a last minute. I don't know. 2,000. It's already, it's right there. We could smack it. I think I'm going to let it go. I'm scared of it. I'm not going to smack it. Has power, will not crank. I'm going to be sad if I go to the, the lot and somebody's driving this around. <laughs> uh, we're going to let it go. I, I really want to hit that button, but it's just just a little scary right now. I like it. 
it's just these panels are all torn apart. We don't know what's going on there. It's like somebody was trying to get out the shifter because it wouldn't come out of gear or something. It's going to go. I could, I could just, it gets gone. Thank you for buying it. Oh, well, that was close. There's that Jaguar. We have no prayer. It's already at 10 grand. No prayer on that one. That is such a nice car. I would love to have something like that. We'll work our way up. Only 70,000 miles. We're, we'll work our way up to that someday. A 16 with 70,000 miles, is that about right? That's close, I guess. Man, that is a nice car. That is so nice. wonder what they are worth. But man, if something is wrong with this car, I would hate to be that person. Well, this is probably going to take a, a few minutes. So maybe I should come back to this. We'll come back to it and see what it does. Well, five seconds at 11, 11, 1. I think it's going to rotate around again because, you know, there's 11, 2. It's still going. Hold on. Is it going to go this time? 11, 2. 13 thousand two hundred and ninety four dollars with like 10 seconds will it go this time thirteen thousand dollars eleven two bid let's see if it goes oops somebody hit it again at eleven three why do they last minute bid on this stuff it doesn't do any good to sniper bid because it just gives you more time so eleven four will it go eleven four Oh, uh, one more time around, man. This is taking forever for this to end. It's uh, $13,524. So, let's see. Five seconds left. 11.4. Is it going to go? Is it going to go? Yup. Nope. <laughs> it's got another 15 seconds. I don't understand what the the algorithm is on this uh, this time. Sometimes it gives you two rounds. Sometimes it gives you three rounds. 13524 sold for all the money. Okay, now we have another 1990 Chevy pickup truck. Did we look at this one? I can't remember. I'm getting, getting them confused now. But uh, 143000 It starts. It says it starts on Ether. I know I looked at it, and it's gone. $425. <laughs> That's like $609 with fees. Eh, it could have been worth it. It probably needed a fuel pump, or it could have just been out of gas. And that's the gamble you take on those things. But uh, just not into that year of truck for some reason. Oh, you want to see one that is a little disturbing? This 2020 Jeep Cherokee is in the auction. $9,500, but look, salvage title. And somebody just bought that salvage title vehicle. Now, um, as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's just parts vehicle, right? There, there's nothing you can do with that. When it's salvaged, you can't get a title for a salvage vehicle as far as I know. Put it in the comments if I'm right. But can you get a title for a salvage vehicle? I don't think so. Now it's time for that uh, black charger that was painted it was white originally. Remember, we looked at that one. It looks good from the outside, but, you know, when you get uh, really digging in it, it's not great. Um, this one runs, right? Yeah, has keys and runs. 160,000 miles, going for 2,900 bucks. 3,645. That's not bad. Uh, just as long as there's nothing wrong with it. It just has a 3.6 in it. Um, you know, it had fair interior, it just needs to be cleaned up, but it was painted. If they would have just left it white, I probably would hit on that a little bit. But $3,000, at $3,000, you're paying $806.50 just in fees. Man, that's that seems a little steep. So, so sold for $3,800 bucks and change. It's That's okay. Okay, our little blue... Chevy S10 pickup truck is coming up next. It has $825 on it. Again, another one I'm not going to bid on because I'm not uh, I'm not a fan at that price point. This is a good truck though. I think it has keys, only has 139,000 miles on it. These trucks run forever. I mean, 300,000 easy. No problems. Still has a license plate on the back. $1,000, 1300 with fees, 139,000 miles. That's that's just fine. A little beat up on the inside. But, 
man, that's that's not bad. It has no catalytic converters on it, so somebody already stole the converter, so you don't have to worry about that. You can just drive it around. Uh, for you people that are out of state, we don't have inspections here. So you can run your car with just straight pipes, just to the muffler. Somebody steals your converter, don't worry about it. Just put in a, put in a pipe and you're good. $1,100 that one sold for. I'd say that was a good deal. That was perfectly fine. Okay, I have one last vehicle to show you. This we didn't see because it was in the overflow lot and I forgot to go over there. <clears throat> There's a few cars that they put in the overflow lot, especially big stuff like this. It's a 96 C3500. It says that it has keys, but it cranks and will not start. It has 196,000 miles on it. it. Has the the Vortec 350 uh, V8 in it. 1,800 bucks. I mean, this is a big truck. It's a quad cab, dually. It's in pretty good shape. It has nice tires, but it has the abandoned vehicle marks on the tires. So I would be a little concerned about that, but I mean, this this truck would be worth a few dollars, especially if it just starts up and runs. That would be, well, it won't start and run. We already see that, but it might be out of gas. Who knows what's wrong with it? But it's not that hard to repair. It's starting to get a little pricey. 2000 2500 that would probably be the max I would want to pay on it. I'm not going to buy this because it's big and... I have a half ton truck pulling a one ton truck with a half ton truck not ideal so we're gonna pass on this but I would like to have one a one ton truck to pull to start pulling with so uh, it would this would definitely come in handy if this was this was a runner I'd hit it a couple times but I just don't have the time again to work on anything now it's starting to get a little pricey $2,400 3000 with the auction fees. The higher you bid, the higher the fees. So, yeah, that's, what, $600 worth of fees already. Okay, is it going to go? $2,400? Oh, yep, there you go. With the auction fees, it's okay at best, I guess. Well, that is all of the classic vehicles on the list. So, we didn't get anything this week, but we did see that, yes, the prices are going up because it's tax time. And uh, it's going to be this way until, what, maybe May, probably, with the stragglers that come in that mail their stuff in. But it's going to be a, it's going to be a few months before the prices go down. But we're still going to go to the auctions. We're still going to find some good deals, and we're going to buy something. It may be a struggle, but we're definitely going to buy something. So... That's going to wrap it up for this episode of Street Rack Garage. Until next time.